it sounds like Brad was willing to do whatever the Wick with Grossbeck owns right. the team and they wanted to do, whether that was remain as head coach mm-hmm. or help with the process of finding a new president. And then Brad just kind of threw his name into the hat and they were like, okay, yeah, let's go in this direction. And the wear and tear of doing both jobs just wasn't a realistic right. pl- plausibility. So if so. Brad Stevens is thinking, let me get out of the, the coaching game. Okay. At let age, me get out. At let age me, 45. Right. By the way. He's 45. Yeah. At age 45, let me get out of the coaching game. And I've now seen enough of the NBA where I can figure out how to put together a team. Mm-hmm. And I also know the locker room better than anybody mm-hmm. of the current roster. Because I've been in the heat of the battle with these guys day in, day out, on the buses, on the plane. Like, I'm there. I know the way this operation works, and I've seen what the NBA works. How far from reality was the idea that he would take the North Carolina coaching job? <laughs> Like or go back like, to Indiana. You know what or, I mean? Like yeah, yeah right, right. Like take in. Let, let me coach the Hoosiers, right? Because I was a Butler guy, and let me go back. <laughs> yeah. Like how? Far, like how in a different galaxy <laughs> was that? I think uh, very far, obviously. You know, because there had to have been when that was all happening. Were they flying Tic Tacs or whatever? <laughs> you, you know, right. <laughs> You know, when that was happening, the, again, these things had to have been in the works. Had to have been. Yeah. And Ainge might have thought this could happen. Boy, let's force a game six. Let's force a game seven. I think what I'm most excited about now, now that this is a reality, you know, in the last couple hours. Right. I think what I'm most excited is to see how differently Brad views the roster and the construct of how the team is put together right now from what Ainge thought and Ainge's view of it. Now we'll know what Brad really thought of the team that Danny put together. How about the one – I know I've got a, a guy in my mind who who might not be – who might be that the fault line there, you know, about what Ainge thought and what he thought. What's that? Kemba Walker. Yeah. yeah. I think Kemba's gone. <laughs> I mean, who, who's going to – I mean, that's a big fat I don't know contract. who's going to take him, but he, 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 he you just know what doesn't I mean? like, fit I, with – I just don't yeah. – I don't, and that's total conjecture. But that was Kyrie not working out, and then Kemba Walker coming in was kind of the the one-two combination that led to the end of the Ainge era in, in Boston. I, I think that's super fair to, to like. Let's go for Kyrie. Let's get. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go for Kyrie. Yeah. And let's I, make that work. And then that doesn't work. And now let's go get Kemba Walker. And you know, really, like when you when you sign a free agent guy like that, like that guy's got to be an all star, yeah, it has and to that be. guy's got to be the your third man in with Brown and Tatum right. in a in a division that's got. Well, obviously, when they made that move at the time, Harden was still in Houston, but I mean, Brooklyn's got the three, and the Celtics have possible two here. Mm-hmm. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.